Welcome to Yantra Technologies. R20 JNTOK ECE 32 Lab, Arduino ARM based lab, experiment number 3. So, in the third experiment, we are going to learn the bidirectional communication between hyperterminal and uh, Arduino. Here, the syllabus is given with uh, hyperterminal. Hyperterminal is a software which is used for emulating for emulating the serial port, serial communication port. Hyperterminal is the name of the software which was used in Windows XP, which was about 22 years old software operating system. Nowadays, the Windows systems, either 9, 10, Windows 7, 8, 10, all these, even including Windows 11, the present one, they do not come with uh, hyperterminal and uh, its equivalent software is what you call as putty putty so there is a uh, there is a software folder provided to you where you can find softwares under this software you will find this putty you click on this putty it will open an executable window like this so by default it will be in ssh don't use ssh you go for serial and here we see com number so our default board rate is 9600 if you want you can change it but you have to do the change in software also default board rate is 9600 and com the communication port here it is mentioned as com1 but i don't know whether it is com1 or not let me open the sketch and see what is the com port here so com is shown as 5 Remember when you are opening the putty, none of the COM windows of Arduino must be open. That is if you open the COM window here, then putty won't open, putty won't work. So make sure that you close all the COM windows and it is COM5. Right. So please remember this and we will use it in a moment. Let's go for this experiment. Let me open this. Experiment number 3, hyperterminal putty. See, in the experiment number 3, you will find another folder inside, which is basically a training on how to use the serial port. Just open the sketch, you will find. Just a minute. When you open the sketch, here you are going to see a series of statements. Basically, Arduino program contains two parts. One is setup, another one is loop. Here, the setup part runs only once when you when you switch on the Arduino. The setup part runs only once. The lines will be executed only once. Whereas the loop part, it continues to rotate. I mean, it executes state number, statement number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after the last statement, once again comes back to statement number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that it will be looping. So, here in this particular case, we have used a serial.begin. Serial.begin 9600. It actually says that you start serial communication at 9600 baud rate. If at all you want to use a different baud rate, you need to change this number from 9600 to 38400, 19200. 1,15,200 different numbers are there so whichever you want you can take that number but default is 9600 I think it is easier to remember also and here we have used pin mode a6 comma input it is not really required uh, all analog pins can be configured without uh, uh, putting the statement they will be in default input mode only but here we are putting it once again it is not really necessary so a long variable long i i is a variable long it's type long so it has taken and initialized as zero and you can see here first of all we wrote serial dot print serial dot begin above starts the serial module here we are starting the serial module we are telling the arduino to start it and when we order the arduino to say serial dot print it prints whatever is given here in the bracket we have given double quotes so under the double quotes whatever we type that will be printed so it is serial print A means it prints the letter A capital A. Remember there is a difference between print and print ln. Print statement just prints it and it does not press the enter button. Whereas if you press this if you type this print ln then after printing whatever is given in this double quotes it gives an enter new line. 
so whenever you press enter let us say if i press enter here i'll get into a new line so similarly arduino if you want to get something into a new line you need to write either ln or even in the double quotes even in the double quotes if you just write backslash n backslash n this will give you a carriage return or it will automatically pr press the uh, enter button in software it, uh, it 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 gives you a new line and a carriage return so next uh, serial dot print hello world if i type this serial dot print hello world so it is going to print me or it is going to say me hello world and remember here i wrote print only no ln so clearly it just prints the hello world and cursor stays there only after the d world after the d only the cursor stays then next line serial print backslash t see backslash t gives you a tab tab means about uh, three four individual spaces see if i type here for example the space bar i get one space two space three space and if i press the tab i get more spaces compared to this so the tab spacing is obtained with the help of backslash t and here another thing is serial dot print ln i will print analog values from the ldr now it means whenever i am writing this full string this entire line gets printed in the arduino uh, i mean serial port and another thing is serial print time it is print only means once again after the time there is no carriage return once again serial print t slash t means uh, there will be tab serial print ln value so after giving the tab it gives you a value and then there is a while loop while one means it's an infinite loop so the program will be running in this loop forever so what does it print it is actually serial dot print i plus plus we said we have initiated the initialized the i we have initialized the i for zero here long i so first it prints i equal to zero here as it is plus plus so it now first prints one and then prints a tab and then serial dot print ln analog read a6 so it is going to read the light intensity from ldr at pin a6 and then give it's going to print it and then it gives a 1000 millisecond delay and then it goes forever that is it prints the i increased prints a tab and then prints the analog value and then waits for one second so after one second increases the i value prints a tab and then prints the ldr value and then one second so like that it is going to loop forever and let's try to give an upload here so i am going to upload the code now i have so far given you explanation only and we'll see how the things happen in the serial monitor now it is uploading so please pay attention to the serial monitor and please don't open the serial monitor now because when you open it the program won't get uploaded properly it may throw you errors so please don't press the serial monitor when the program is uploading So it is now uploading and remember according to JNTU syllabus we are not supposed to use the serial monitor we are supposed to use the serial uh, hyper terminal so I am once again going back to my putty so recall I have stopped here at COM1 9600 only now COM1 is actually COM5 here in this case my COM port number is 5 and then do nothing uh, go to this uh, uh, keyboard and here you press uh, echo just a minute no, no. yes logging 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 is over keyboard there is an echo just a minute bell echo features no no in keyboard only i have to see yeah in keyboard terminal only if, I, if you click on the terminal you will find a uh, uh, local echo force on local echo force on so that whatever you type you can see there and then click on open so open the putty go to logging sorry go to session under the session you have com5 9600 and press the terminal and you press force on only for local echo and then open see here you are going to see the things sent by arduino see it has sent first an a and then a b with a carriage written hello world i will print the values from ldr now and it's actually printed as time it's not time it's a trial one two three four five six seven eight and this is the analog value and please observe whenever i cover the ldr the numbers are going to increase see i have totally covered the ldr 
its resistance has increased and it's now showing around 9000 i mean around 900 now i'll open it you can see it's coming to around uh, 500 or so and when i shine it with a light there is the ldr values will decrease right so this is basically the communication of uh, uh, some characters they said only one character one character is very simple uh, as it is not really big experiment we have tried to complicate it by putting all this if at all you want only one character now you can quit the putty same thing can be observed same thing can be observed with a simple serial monitor click here see you see the same values hello world i'll print the analog values same thing same things are printed here but uh, i don't know why the jnt people have given the old syllabus there they are asking you uh, to use hyper terminal and putty now the arduino has developed uh, the serial monitor in itself so no need to add any extra but if you want you can use the putty also this is one experiment and uh, similarly we have the other two experiments which are also based on hyper terminal only see this experiment is sending a character sending a character to hyper terminal sending a character to hyper terminal already we have sent strings also and i'll show you the second experiment which is sending strings strings to just i am representing as hyper terminal to second experiment on hyper terminal so here also we are going to have things which are most of them analogous to the previous one so earlier if you just write serial dot print a character like string a I mean a character a that is over here we are also sending the strings hello this is a string without enter key pressed another one i am giving a 3000 milliseconds delay and then hello this is a string with enter pressed you can see here there is no print ln in this case whereas ln is there in this case so one prints the enter another doesn't print the enter and then I waited for two seconds and then once again I am printing string gives a carriage return so let's print the light sensor reading see once again I am trying to print the light sensor readings so trial number one darkness uh, in units and whenever you plus slash t slash t it gives you a tab double slash t means two tabs single slash means single tab so like that you can have different tabs printed here and I am once again printing the light sensors readings for about 10 seconds I am going to print the light sensor and then after that I will wait for 5 seconds and then I will print the other ones that is uh, the temperature sensors reading so initially I have tried to print the light sensor now I am trying to print the te temperature sensor see JN2 did not ask for any specific thing but to have some variation while conducting the exams also I am giving you this difference, uh, di different uh, strings. You can simplify it if you want. And then it prints the temperature sensor. So let's upload and see how it behaves. Uh, by default, I am using the same LDR and uh, I am using the same uh, LM35. So you are going to, you, there is no need to connect anything. Already connections are made. So you can uh, just upload the things into software and you can get the things done. If at all you are interested, you are curious and you want to change the pins, if you want to change the pins, just remove the clip, use a female to female connector, you can get the things done. So as it is, is over, now once again, as the JN2 people told us to use a hyper terminal only, first of all I am showing you this in serial monitor, once again it is COM5 only, now I am closing it, make sure you close it and once again go to putty. So here we have here we have uh, the putty under the software heading just you click on the putty it is executable no need to install anything as usual select serial and then go to com5 and then open of course you need to press the terminal in the terminal force echo on open and then it starts printing the same values hello this is a string without enter key pressed hello this is a string with enter key pressed Hello, uh, this string gives a carriage return and a new line. Let's print the light sensor readings. Trial 1, 2, 3, darkness. Now it's waiting for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's waiting for some time and once again it's printing the temperature. You see it's around 30 degrees Celsius. And once again waiting for 5 seconds. Once again it prints the all statements. This is with carriage return, without carriage return. All these things, they loop forever. Okay, thank you.